Would you rather, every time you go to a museum, go at the busiest time with a massive crowd through which you can barely see any painting, or would you rather go to a museum at 3 a.m. in the morning with no one there and you have to be really quiet so the guards don't catch you? So it's a very stressful situation. 3 a.m.? Yeah. That sounds fun, actually. I would love that. An empty museum? Oh my god. Yeah. 3 a.m. Okay. Running away from guards. That, that would make it even better, I think. There's a lot of space for interpretation from the audience, which I think is important because that makes a play interesting. And the fact that these three women are completely different. And there isn't an assumption that because they're all women that they're all gonna think the same way. And that really inspires me because as an actor, that's way more fun for us as women to play. I hope a laugh. I really do genuinely hope people find it, um, find it joyful and joking because it is but i also hope that they leave thinking about the history of of women and especially of women in paintings and the fact that they have been and often are faceless and have no name no history that's written down about them and also that in our piece even when women are in a position of power there's still a lot of things that you face that with power, with agency, there's still layers of being a woman in a position of public view that are really difficult to navigate. It's truly creative on the part of our writer, meaning that I think it's an extremely fresh perspective and idea that I've never encountered before. And to me, that's what new writing should be. And what makes it important is letting someone's imagination be on the stage. And I think her imagination has done something really special. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with something that's a bit more of a personal experience. I was in Phoenix, Arizona at a art exhibit on First Friday, which is an art event downtown. And I was walking through this art gallery and I saw a painting that I just stopped and stared at. And it brought so much emotion at me, I don't know why. It was a, a dark street with a light on. And it was all grays and blues. And I didn't know until I left that it was actually a rehabilitation center for drug addicts in the downtown area. And that all the paintings were painted as a therapy for drug addicts to work through, uh, recovering drug addicts to work through their, um, their experiences. It just had a really particular style. I don't know what it was called, but I think it's my favorite painting. Uh, June, because my mom was born in June and it always sneaks up and I get to celebrate her, which is fun. Yeah. I think I would like to have spaghetti for arms and I think I would like for it to be cooked because then when I dance, it would like flail around. <laughs>